Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to show you how to do a classic Chinese takeaway restaurant recipe, barbecue spare ribs or cha su spare ribs. So I was given this recipe by Blowin in Ireland, who's been helping me out a lot with advice on search engine optimization for the channel. Thank you, Nigel. It's much appreciated. And so is the recipe, because it's really easy and it's really tasty. So let's do it. Okay, you're gonna need some pork and some marinade. And the ingredients for the marinade are two tablespoons of soy sauce, that's light soy sauce, a tablespoon of hoisin sauce, a teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder, two or three cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of rice wine or sherry, this is actually mirin, which is a sweet rice wine, and a tablespoon of honey. And also completely optional, but red food color if you want your ribs to be bright red, like they tend to be in Chinese restaurants. Now, the first thing to do is, Chop up the ribs into individual bits. Of course, you can do this recipe with boneless pork loin or whatever you like, really. But I've got ribs. I would have liked to have thicker ones with a bit more meat on them, but these are moderately meaty, so I think that'll be okay. Now I just wanna peel the garlic and crush it. So I'll just um, mix up all the ingredients for the marinade. There's my garlic. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. You can use dark if you want. A tablespoon of hoisin sauce. My tablespoon won't fit in there, so I'll have like oh, three teaspoons. teaspoon of five spice powder teaspoon of booze okay two teaspoons <laughs> and some honey I think I said a teaspoon but I think that's a bit ridiculous so more like a tablespoon and the optional red food coloring give that all a good old mix Yep, that's red. <laughs> now you want a Ziploc bag. Or you could do it in the bowl, but um, this makes it easier to, to squeeze the marinade around the meat. You'll just pop all that into the bag. And put the meat in. Zip it up. And just... Um, Squish it around to get all the meat coated and stick that in the fridge for at least four hours, but overnight for preference and give it a squish every now and again just to make sure everything's continued to be coated. Okay, <laughs> the magenta meat has been marinating overnight. In fact, for more than 24 hours, I think. So what I'm gonna do is cook it. I've got the oven preheating to 160 degrees Celsius for a fan oven. That will be 180 if it's not a fan. And we'll just pop the ribs onto this, um, well, it's a roasting tin lined with foil and with a sort of grill on top. So I'm going to pop those in the oven for about 30 minutes and then we'll see how we're getting on. Uh, I'm going to make some savoury rice to go with the ribs. And I don't even know if this is a proper recipe or a thing, but I like it. So I've got one cup of long grain rice, that's basmati, or you could use jasmine. Um, one and a half cups of chicken stock, a bit of red bell pepper, a spring onion, and a knob of butter. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the red bell pepper quite finely. That'll do for the pepper. Now the spring onion, just keep the green top for chopping finely to use as a garnish later on and chop the oniony part of it into very thin slices. Now I've got the butter melting in a pan 
I'm just going to add the spring onion and red bell pepper. We'll just let those cook for a few minutes just to soften them. Now I've got my rice which I've rinsed a couple of times in cold water. I'm going to pop that in there and stir that round to get it coated in the melted butter a little bit. And then add the chicken stock. Stir that all in and bring it to the boil. So you don't need to add salt in this because uh, that'll be in the stock. So that's boiling, give it a stir, pop the lid on, turn the heat down and simmer for exactly 10 minutes. Now the meat had it's 30 minutes and oh look at the colour of that, that is amazing. So I'm just turning them over and I'm just going to spoon a bit more of the marinade on them and I'll give that another 10 minutes and then it's pretty much ready. Right, the rice has had its 10 minutes, so I'll, I'll turn it off the heat, give it a little stir around. Pop the lid back on and just let that sit for another 10 minutes. Alrighty, here it is. <laughs> Amazingly red, pork spare ribs. Mm-mm. And this is not a job for um, cutlery. Oh yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Wonderful. Pork spare ribs. Make it now. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you can get the full recipe on my website, keefcooks.com, and there should be a link kicking around on the screen over there or down there. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Link, link and uh, talk to me, leave comments, make requests, keep it civil and friendly or I will ban you. And thanks for watching and see you next time.